Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenaut here. In this video, we're gonna talk about a simple example of constructors. In the last video, we discussed what is a constructor, what you can do with it, and what are the different types of constructors. Here, let's work them out with a simple example right here on NetBeans. So what I have is nothing great, just a class person that has a string first name, last name, a boolean test, int age, double x, float y, char z. Now the reason why I have so many variables is because I want to show you guys what is the default values of each of these variables. Let, let's try to print them up and say system.out.println. We can directly say p dot first name and let me actually replicate that for the other ones and then say shift f6. So as you guys notice it says null for the value of first name, false for the value of test, zero for the value of age and x is 0, 0.0. So where do these values come from? Because we have not given any values over here. So this is what happens when you say new person here on the right hand side. The default constructor for the class person is called. That constructor is gonna give default values to all the instance variables that belong to that class. And that is why you get such values. Now even if you print the other values out here, like for example you had your y over here and you had z out here. Again if we save this by saying control s, shift f6, you guys are gonna notice the same thing. Notice that char z has a default value of 0 which is the unicode 0 and that is nothing but a character that cannot be shown here. So now let's try to understand how we can change this. So let's say, let me remove these extra variables first and just keep three of them. Let's say I want the default value of first name as vibs for every object and last name as something else. Now let's try to make another object first and try to understand how this works. So here what I have is person p is new person and then I've tried to print the details of p. If I run this right now it's gonna be null and false right. Let's try to make a person say q and make another person object by saying person q is new person. So let me replicate the two statements out here for person q and try to understand what kind of values are being printed. Shift F6. Again if you guys notice false false null null which means the constructor or the default constructor is gonna give default values to all the objects that are getting initialized. In other words all the instance variables that belong to different objects are gonna get the same value. So the question is what if I wanted true everywhere instead of false. In that case I make my own version of the default constructor. Now let's see how to do that. Here I simply write the class name by saying person. Just like a method I put some parentheses start and end them. Put up some braces just like a method and inside this so called special method I'm gonna give the values. I'm gonna say first name equals to webs. Last name equals to not available or something like that and then I'm gonna say test equals to true. Now this is obviously an error because I need to have semicolons between each of these different statements that should take care of it. So now let's try to see what happens. If you guys notice here let me again put a print ln by saying system dot out of print ln. I'll simply say constructor was called. So let's save this and see what happens. Control S, Shift F6. As you guys notice we say person P is new person. Constructor was called, gets executed which means we are over here. Now first name becomes Vibs. This last name becomes NA which I have not printed here and test becomes true which is getting printed over here. But now when I say person Q is new person again it's gonna call our constructor. Hence the statement again prints here by saying constructor was called and it's gonna print the values which means constructors are called for every object that you create. Now your version of the constructor that you made here decides what values you wanna give here to all the instance variables that belong to the different objects that we create inside our main method and that is as far as simple constructors are concerned. So we'll be talking about parameterized constructors now and see how that works. So here I'm gonna remove these statements at the top actually undo one of them just keep the others as it is. Now let me make a little modified version of this instead of 
saying like this I'm gonna simply say over here as lives as the first parameter second will be a number you can second will be the string which will say not available something third will be an integer or a boolean which will say false over here so now let's see how this works so at this point as you guys notice there is an error over here because this time our constructor when we are calling it we are passing certain parameters so we need to get those parameters inside our constructor definition over here so here I'm gonna say string f string l and boolean t in other words I can directly say something like this I can say first name equals to f last name will be l and test will be equals to t and that takes care of everything so this is our custom constructor that we have made now we can make any number of parameters here just like we would do with a method and we can also decide what we are gonna do with that so let's again run this and see what happens control s shift f6 as you guys notice we run this first statement it we're gonna call the constructor was called statement gets executed because from this statement new person we come directly over here and inside that these values are passed these values are printed out here as vivs and false now we can of course print the values here also by saying system dot ln and then we can say f with a space in between print l again with a space in between print t and see how that looks shift f6 so you guys notice constructor was called then this statement runs which is vivs na false right here and then we go back here to our main method there we print the first name which turns out to be vivs the last name which turns out to be false so this is how constructors work in java now there are certain things that i still need to discuss about the parameterized constructor which i'll be doing in my upcoming videos in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.